One of the commonly used means of transportation is the ship. While in the ship, one of the main components is the propeller to propel the ship. However, it turns out that the process of making ship propellers is not as easy as we imagine because it has to be done in detail. And the following is a brief process of making a ship propeller. In general, the ship's propeller will rotate to produce motion energy as a driving force for the ship. Every marine ship has a propeller that is different from one another, both in terms of profile, length, and the number of propeller blades, adjusted to the needs and function of the ship itself. There are many companies that make ship propellers. One of the largest in the world is Mecklenburger Metal Goose or MMG. This MMG company comes from Germany which has been established since 1875 and every year this MMG can produce 30 to 40 propellers. Before the propellers are made, MMG will visit the shipyard and ask for the ship's design. After that, the design was then given a special team to make a small-scale model ship made of wood. Furthermore, the wooden ship is placed in a towing tank and this ship will be towed 280 meters with a speed of 25 kilometers per hour. From this movement, then the water currents moving towards the propeller placed under the ship will be analyzed. Then the data from these water currents will be entered into the computer. After that, a propeller design was made based on the data from the computer that analyzed the towing tank earlier. This propeller design includes propeller profile, propeller size, weight to the number of propellers to be made. When the propeller design is completed, the next process is the manufacture of small-scale model propellers. Then the propellers are mounted on the wooden ship that was made before, then put back in the towing tank for analysis. If the results of the analysis show that it is suitable and working well, then the next step is to make propellers out of wood on their original scale. After the propeller made of wood has been made, it is then taken to the place where the mold is made. This wooden propeller is then given cement, which is mixed with quartz sand, so that after it hardens, it will form a mold. Henceforth is the process of pouring the metal, which has been melted into the mold that was made previously. In the process, some metal materials are put into the induction furnace to be melted. These metal materials include copper, aluminum, nickel, and iron, so that after smelting, they will become a bronze alloy. The process of melting the material in this induction furnace requires a temperature of around 1150 degrees Celsius. Prior to the casting process, a sample will be taken of the metal liquid in the furnace to be analyzed whether it contains hydrogen or not. Because if it contains a lot of hydrogen, it will create bubbles on the propeller when the casting process is finished later. The sample is also tested from a strength test. In this strength test, the sample will be subjected to a pressure of 10 tons. And when it passes the test, then the liquid metal in the furnace is poured into the mold, which in this casting process only takes 30 minutes. After all the molten metal has been put into the mold, then a special powder is added which aims to prevent the temperature in this mold so it doesn't cool too quickly. Furthermore, the mold is allowed to cool for 2 weeks. And when it has cooled, the mold will be crushed and the veins removed. After lifting, the propellers will enter into the grinding process, where the propeller will be scraped using a grinding machine until they form a predetermined profile. In this scraping process, it must be done carefully so that the surface of the blades is not eroded too much. 
After the completing the grinding process, the propellers will enter the polishing process, namely polishing the propellers which is done manually by the workers. This polishing cannot be done with a machine because in this polishing it requires the feelings and abilities of a worker. Apart from that, in polishing the propeller, it also aims to form a propeller pattern, which pattern is a characteristic of the propeller products of a company. In the grading and polishing process, the propellers will lose up to 10 to 15% of their weight. When it's finished, the propeller is then measured using a measuring device which aims to see the suitability that has been determined. Next, the finished propeller is then sent to the shipyard which has ordered the propeller. The entire manufacturing process from start to finish of this propeller, the MMG factory can take up to 9 months and the propeller that was sent has a diameter of 9 meters and weighs 109 tons. Most of the propellers made by the factory using materials from copper. The material was chosen because it has resistance to seawater corrosion, is strong, and is easy to repair if the propeller is damaged. Damage to the propeller can be caused by several things such as being hit by a collision or damage due to the cavitation phenomenon. When liquid is pushed in one direction very quickly, it creates an area of low pressure inside. This area usually appears of gas bubbles and the phenomenon of the appearance of these gas bubbles is what is known as cavitation. However, if the cavitation bubbles burst, then the impact can be a shock wave which can damage the nearest surface. And propellers that are affected by cavitation, vibration, and noise will occur, which is the impact of cavitation on the propeller is a decrease in a performance up to damage to the propeller. If allowed to go on and on, cavitation will slowly erode the tip of the propeller. Besides that the cavitation affects the propeller will make the rotation unstable and indirectly can make fuel consumption more wasteful. For damaged propellers, an inspection will be carried out first. In addition to that, measurements of the propeller diameter, propeller profile, and so on will also be carried out. In repairing the propeller, there are various ways, such as if the propeller is damaged because it is bent, the propeller can be placed on a pressing machine, or it can also be heated using a glass torch, which aims to straighten the bent part. After that, the bend part was repaired again by being beaten using a hammer by the workers. When finished, the propellers are then ground and polished again using a grinding machine and using the manual method by the workers. Meanwhile, if the propeller is cracked or broken, then the part can be connected using welding. After being welded, a microscopic crack is done to see if there are cracks in the propellers that are connected.